What's going on everyone? Jan Hella here and today we're gonna take a look at battle styles. I haven't really went through this set list uh, I'm probably a little late because this thing was posted about two weeks ago. So I'm a little behind. I'm a lot of behind But right now we're gonna take a look through it just cuz um, it's coming out this week. It's coming out on Friday Hopefully I get some I know I've pre-ordered a couple online. I know I've put a pre-order in for GameStop Whether they do or do not come in is a whole nother story. Uh, so I hear that GameStop is a little weird to pre-order from. I haven't pre-ordered any Pokemon cards from them as of, I don't know, ever. So I'm definitely curious to see how that's going to pan out. Um, it could absolutely suck and I might not get my ETBs until however long down the line. Hopefully that's not the case because, I don't know, I want to I wanna open up some new cards just like everyone else. And I'm also on the hunt for all of the cool cards just like everyone else, which means that this set even though it's one of the primary sets and not one of those specialty sets like Hidden Fades, Shiny Fades, and all that kind of stuff, that means that this set is still going to be highly sought after just because there's so much hype and demand behind certain cards that it's just going to have an inherent level of... <sighs> an inherent level of resale, and it's going to... It's going to suck, you know? Um, I'm not a fan of having to go, to go to the store every single morning to hopefully get a few cards, but... Unfortunately, that's the name of the game right now, and it's not going to change anytime soon. Even with the potential restock and reprints of Hidden Fates, Cosmic Eclipse, Team Ups, all that kind of stuff, it's still going to be highly sought after, and so everyone is going to... Everyone. And so everyone is still going to be going to the stores first thing in the morning. <sighs> it's the name of the game, guys. Name of the game. So let's quickly take a look at this set. And see what's good in here. I mean, there's a lot of, you know, notable cards. So the Rapid Strike and the Single Strike concept is pretty unique. It reminds me of the Team Magma, Team Plasma base sets or whatever those things were called. It really reminds me of that where you have certain cards that would draw out certain Pokemon and certain type of trainers. So this whole Rapid Strike thing and Single Strike, very similar to that. And let's take a quick look at this set. We'll see what edits I will or will not make in this video. All right, we're starting off with a... Bellsprout, not that great. Weeping Bell, Dangerous Slime. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may leave your opponent's Pokemon burned and poisoned. Not bad. Cricketune. Have there been any Cricketune cards that have been viable? Find out. We got a Cricketune V. Stage Elation. Once during your turn, you may draw cards until you have three cards in your hand. If this Pokemon is in the active spot, you may draw cards until you have four in your hand. You can't use this ability if you use another stage elation during this turn. I added during because it makes sense. The cogs were turning. That's not bad. It's not the greatest. Uh, it's definitely good for the end game. It kind of reminds me of Orn Guru, right? The, the original Orn Guru card. And we have Cherum, Spring Bloom. As often as you like during your turn, you may attach a grass energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon. Except for except for a Pokemon with a rule box. That's actually not the worst card out there. Especially if you play solely non-GX V V Max Pokemon. That's actually pretty viable. Damn. As often as you like. That is pretty that's actually really crazy. Especially if is rare candy. Well, you don't even need a rare candy. It's only stage one. See, I see how uh, viable that charm is gonna be in the future. Durant. Devour. So Durant are usually played in mill type decks and by milling I mean your goal is to get your opponent to deck out and so I don't know if any I don't know if any Durant decks that didn't that weren't mill decks. Weird. Okay. Fomantis. Too many coins to flip. Not a fan. Tapu Bulu. Push down. 20 damage. Your opponent switches their active Pokemon with one of their bench. Yeah, not bad. Nature's Judgment for a grass, grass, and a colorless. Nature's Judgment. Again, I repeated myself after stating that name already. 80 plus damage. You may discard all energy attached to this Pokemon. If you do, this attack does 80 more damage. Flapple V. Sour Saliva. 20 damage. During your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon's cost 2 colorless more. That's actually not bad, especially if there's a, po if there's a deck that... Yeah. I don't know. Words. Flapple V Max. Grass and 2 colorless energies. G Max Roll, my forehead is itchy. G Max Roll, 250 damage. This attack does 10 less damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. Not that great, but that's a high damage output. That's actually really high damage output for such a small attack, or for such a small attack cost. 
Grass is looking kind of buffed up this this uh this set. And as you guys know, I'm a grass starter Pokemon guy, so I will absolutely take it. And Entei, let's take a look at this card. Heat Rash. That'd be kind of funny. Heat Dash. 30 damage. You may attach one fire energy from this from your hand to this Pokemon. And Fire Fang does 90 damage, and your opponent's Pokemon is now burned. That's a very good Pokemon for energy acceleration of uh, turn one. And then all you need to do is do an energy switch to put him to someone more powerful. Ooh. You pair him up with Heatran? That's a solid combo right there. Victini V. V Bullet. Are you a good looking card? Yeah, kind of cute. Victini V Max, however, you look cool. It's funny, in all my videos I say V Max full art. They're all full art. There's no V Max, it's not a full art. I don't don't ask me why. I'm just so used to the difference between full arts and non-full arts. Sue me. Embor. <clears throat> Fighting Fury Stance. Your your single strike Pokemon's attacks do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. Okay, not bad. Nice little extra kick in the nuts. What do you do, Heatmore? Colorless, colorless, colorless. Oh, you're in Japanese, I can't read that. Going back into conditions, and here's one that can actually take advantage of it, and that's Salazzle. Taunt and Burn. 90 multiplier, damn. 90x damage. This attack does 90 damage for each special condition affecting your opponent's active Pokemon. So, not bad. You're hitting for 120 damage, unless you get a, a third one on there. Wait, that's like 120? 180 damage, Jesus Christ. Oh, for expanded with Hypnotoxic Laser. Islipede, you don't matter. Send a Scorch. Are you a cool looking card? Yeah, not bad. Super edgy looking. Ability, Overheater. As long as this Pokemon is in play, whenever your opponent flips heads for a burned Pokemon between turns, that Pokemon remains burned. Damn. Okay. Kingdra. I can't remember the last time there was a good Kingdra card. I also never played King Kingdra before. Lord of the Ocean's Depth. Damn. It's kind of a tense ass name. When your active Pokemon is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack, you may choose any number of water energy attached to that Pokemon and move them to this Pokemon. Aqua Burst, this attack does 40 damage times the number of water energy attached to this Pokemon. That's actually pretty sick. If you can if you can get that one going, that's actually pretty, pretty sick. Expand it with Aqua Patch, that'd be pretty cool. Octillery with Rapid Strike, the cogs were churning. Rapid Strike Search. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for a Rapid Strike card. Reveal it and put it into your hand to shuffle your deck. That's actually really good because I don't know what other Rapid Strike cards are out there besides Pokemon. If there's any item cards or supporters, that's actually pretty, pretty legit. I know the alt art is super highly sought after, but let's see if it's even good. Amper's Eyes. As long as this Pokemon is in the active spot, your opponent's basic Pokemon in play have no abilities except for Pokemon with a rule, with a rule box. Pokemon V with a rule box. <laughs> Swirling Slice. Move an energy card from this Pokemon to one of your bench Pokemon. That reminds me of Evil Tall EX. Love that card, love that attack, so I wouldn't mind playing Empoleon V. Bruxish. Until they ever make a Bruxish card that's competitive, Bruxish fucking sucks. I don't even care if you say his name, Bruxish. Electabuzz. Yeah, where are you at, my friend? That's a cool looking card. Big Punch. This, po this opponent, what the fuck? Big Punch. This Pokemon cannot use Big Punch during your next turn. I could have sworn the name was Haymaker, and if so, that's a huge nod to the original Haymaker deck back in the original base set days. Drop a like if you ever played the Haymaker deck back in the day. That was one of my favorite decks, and I think I had... I think I ended up putting Mewtwo in there. I think it was a Rocket Mewtwo at some point. Um, pfft, such a fun time to play Pokemon, especially as a kid where there was just so much allure to it. Old. Uh, Luxray. Electric Slide. That's funny. Cha-cha two steps. That might be a different dance. Luxray is absolutely playable. Now, Galarian Slowpoke, you don't matter. Spoink, you're never good. Grumpy, you're hardly good. Ball Toy, yeah. Clay Doll, super colorful. With a rainbow in the back. Power Split. Attack Psychic Energy from your discard pile to your Pokemon any way you like until the total number of energy attached to your Pokemon is the same number of total energy attached to your opponent's Pokemon. Talking about Psychic Acceleration, and here we are getting some crazy levels of Psychic Energy Acceleration. Holy shit. Mimic UV. Envying Eyes. Put three damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon for each prize card your opponent has taken. Mimic UV is going to be an absolutely great late game Pokemon. Necrozma V. Okay. Necrozma is kind of a cool Pokemon introduced in Sun and Moon. He's literally doing the exact same action move in every single card. Can we have him doing anything different? 
like just a static pose, just something. Laser, 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 special laser for psychic, psychic, colorless, 100 plus damage. If this Pokemon has any special energy attached to it, this attack does 120 more damage. I don't know what the psychic special energy is, but I am definitely curious to see how that is going to play out in the future. Ichigeki Primate, Frenzy Bomb, 50 damage. This attack does 50 damage for each of your range Pokemon have any damage counters on them. Not bad. Onyx, you suck, Cubone. You are crying your ass off once again. The cool thing about this art for Marowak, it kind of looks like it's coming out of his cave to do a standoff with a Pokemon that's trying to get in. So that's kind of neat. That's probably how it'll die and more Cubone will be born. Now, Mind Shao for Rapid Strike. Spinning Whip. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. Shuffle this Pokemon and all cards attached to it into your deck. That kind of reminds me of Excelgore. Not as good, but not bad even. That's a cool looking card. I wish, you, I wish you, they had a shiny version. That'd be cool. Clutch. The defending Pokemon can't retreat during your opponent's next turn. Okay. And Sky Hurricane. 190 damage. This Pokemon can't use Sky Hurricane during your next turn. Okay. Well, that kind of sucks. But is VMAX, is VMAX good? VMAX is sick. Luster Body. Lack Luster Body. Ability, Lester Body. Prevent all effects of your opponent's abilities done to this Pokemon. Battlelands are pretty playable Pokemon. I don't know why, but they're always super playable in the past. So let's see what this guy can do. The second bite, 40 damage. If the defending basic Pokemon is knocked out by damage during this, from this attack, let's take one more prize card. Okay. That'd be weird. Drampa, call for family. Call your grandmother. <sighs> Escape rope, cool. Experience share, neat. And then Karina's focus. Draw cards until you have six in your hand. Okay. Phoebe, during your during this turn, damage from the attacks of your Pokemon VMAX aren't affected by your effects. Okay, whatever. I'm sick of reading that one. Rapid Strike Stroll. Oh, fuck. R mustard. Who the fuck? His name is Mustard. Rapid Strike Stance Mustard. You can only play this card if it's the only card in your hand. Put a Rapid Strike Pokemon from your discard pile into your bench. Onto your bench. Then draw five cards. Okay. Uh, I don't know how easy it is to discard cards in this new format. Previously, this is kind of like Archies or Maxis. This one, hopefully you can find some level of play. That's kind of cool. I've always loved that kind of dry engine, but... So, Single Strike Mustard is just like Rapid Strike Mustard, but just Single Strike, Rapid Strike. Neat. Sword Word and Squid Word. Choose a trainer card from your discard pile and ask your opponent if you could put it into your hand. If they say yes, put that card into your hand. If they say no, return that card to your discard pile and draw three cards. For a time where human interaction is going to be a little more inept than before, that card is going to see some awkward play. And I am for it. Tool Jammer. As long as the Pokemon this card is attached to is in the active spot, Pokemon tool cards attached to your opponent's active Pokemon, excluding Tool Jammer, have no effect. Okay, that's not bad at all. So this set has so much potential, especially when you look at it in an expanded format with so many other cards that this set can benefit. But even at the current stage of the meta, this set is going to be an absolute killer. Um, it's unfortunate because it's going to be equally as hard to get, such as Shiny Fates. So <sighs> good luck to everyone. Uh, this Victini V card is absolutely gorgeous. Obviously, Empoleon Full Art and the alternate art with Phalanx and Mind Show. Looking super cool. Mind Show? I forget your name, but you might be Mind Show. And obviously, Mimic You is a good looking card. Who are you? Necrozma V? Virtually the same stance, so that doesn't matter to me. Tyranitar is a given what is being knocked out during a buffet. Uh, Stoutland even looks beautiful for what it is. I'm not even a fan of Stoutland, but he's a good looking card. Man, what a good looking set. So many playable cards. So much good alternate art. Yeah, here we go. Here's that Dragon Ball Z. Whoa, this is a lot, there's a lot more going on in this set than I thought. I didn't notice all the background Pokemon in there. You got the Cramorants, the Aracuda, Berescutas. You got a Clobalopabopadop. And then Corviknights. That's actually super cool. I didn't see all of those other Pokemon in the art until just now. And that is... No wonder that is a highly sought after card. <sighs> it would be cool if we pull it. Not holding my breath, but what? I didn't see all these secret rares. Jesus Christ. We got a shiny Octillery. Battle Styles. 
what a set. It's going to be absolutely amazing. I can't wait to open some packs. Let me know how hard it's going to be to get week of. If we're going to be patient, as I've been with Shiny Fates and been diligent, I will get my share of cards, but, you know, the thrill of the hunt is always going to be there. It's going to be so fun to hunt this thing down, but it's definitely going to be a hunt. It's definitely going to take a lot more effort than I would normally like to put into Pokemon, but, hey, it is what it is. That's the current state of Pokemon, and if you, unfortunately, if you're not willing to put in the effort, you're going to be getting the scraps from all the scalpers. <sighs> That's the unfortunate truth, and... We have to live in it. So let me know what you guys are looking forward to with this set. I am absolutely looking forward to getting this set, acquiring so many different playable cards. The alternate art, I mean, if they fall on my lap, I'll gladly take them, but I don't think I'm going to be hunting down alternate art as much as most people are. So then I have to take it for what it is. Comment down below what do you guys think. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and until the next time, punch hard. Weird. You guys are gonna like this one.